Hi, I'm Jaidi Prabhu, a co-author of Frugal Innovation, and I'm here with Simon Francis, CEO and founder of Flock Associates. Simon, thanks for being here with us. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I've started off uh, in media some 25 years ago and then moved into advertising. And then as these things go, sort of ended up running Saatchi and Saatchi across Europe, Middle East and Africa as a, uh, a CEO for the region. And then latterly, Aegis Media, uh, the five companies that comprise that across Europe, Middle East and Africa, six and a half thousand employees, you know, 135 different offices. It all took me a bit by surprise. So what uh, made you think of quitting all that and starting your own, starting your own organization, Flock Associates? I'd observed the industry changing dramatically, where the challenge wasn't just about having great creative ideas or being able to buy media cheaply or even just to do disruptive digital sort of activities. It was how do you put it all together as a whole? How do you integrate um, uh, all of these different marketing channels? Um, and I saw that as a real opportunity. There was no one that was transforming marketing to integrate all of these activities into a solution that makes sense for uh, the consumer, but also for the business. So as a startup, you probably had to bootstrap a lot and be frugal, find ways to do things faster, better, cheaper. Can you tell us a bit about your thinking in frugal innovation? Yeah, I think the first thing is, uh, is uh, we, we're not really, we don't work like a consultancy. We work like a, a, an agile tech startup from somewhere in you know, the Bay Area. So we work to two week sprints. Uh, we have a job board which we work through and uh, we set out a series of tests and mutations that we sort of test and invest or kill basically. So that included a paper based proposition and 13 different products or services that we tested that we rationalized down to nine and have now settled on the four core areas. We've gone through two or three different iterations of our uh, customer value proposition. Uh, and so we behave, you know, as an agile uh, and sort of tech startup would do. And the thing is, we have no money. So we have had to be frugal, lean and agile. And that's now a core part of our ethos and hopefully will long continue. Can you tell us a bit about some of the tools or techniques you've used to do things faster, better, cheaper? So the first thing is, is we... Uh, test a lot off paper real time with real consumers and we use the data that our website our social media and our own sort of sales processes uh, throw off um, the second thing is is we invest extensively in cloud-based technology that grows alongside us as we go through so we use the Google stack and a number of apps that plug into that which has allowed us to look at everything from timesheet reporting sales forecasting uh, calendaring, yeah, everything you can imagine sort of plugs into this. So it meant that when we opened up in the United States, we were able to replicate and clone exactly our tech ecosystem uh, just by turning it on. And what about frugal marketing in the world of digital media and so on? Any thoughts on that? Yeah, it's very difficult for the world's largest companies to really be frugal marketeers. Their, their processes, their organizations, their structures, their technologies, their reporting, their KPI, KPIs are all based on, on an old uh, model, which was campaigning. You know, like we're going to do this big vertical initiative and then we're going to wait for a year and then do another one. Whereas the consumer is always on. Uh, and that's really why Flock exists, to help them transform their capabilities, their structures, their processes, um, their technologies and reporting uh, to embrace frugal and lean uh, sort of innovative ways of communicating. What is the big challenge for the large established companies to become more frugal and agile? I think the first is their legacy and of course their scale. So where they start with new projects, they can leap forwards, uh, but to wrestle a legacy organization of a thousand people into a new structure, as we're helping one client uh, do in a six-month period, is, is challenging. Let's be clear, it is, it is sort of challenging. So wrestling with a legacy is their biggest challenge. Getting their structures and their um, capabilities right is the second biggest one. And then the processes, whilst boring and dull for many people, is 
absolutely critical um, uh, to shape change. Any thoughts on emerging markets and what they're bringing to the table? Well, I think it, the world's turning upside down. I think everything was very based around the US and maybe the large markets like Germany and France and the UK. Now people are looking for frugal innovation from China, from Brazil, from India. And they're the people that should be running the organizations and creating the processes to work for those growth markets. Too often, large marketeers create processes and capabilities and practices for the US and find that they can't work in China, that they can't work in India, that they can't work in uh, Brazil or Russia. Uh, and so we see this inversion of the world coming to the fore as the emerging markets take over. Thank you very much, Simon. It's been a wonderful interview. Thank you very much. Thank you all.